Reading through the Psalms and Proverbs in 30 Days, Day 27. Psalm, Chapter 120, Heading, A Song for Pilgrims Ascending to Jerusalem. I took my troubles to the Lord. I cried out to him, and he answered my prayer. Rescue me, O Lord, from liars and from all deceitful people. O deceptive tongue, what will God do to you? How will he increase your punishment? You will be pierced with sharp arrows and burned with glowing coals. How I suffer in far-off Meshach. It pains me to live in distant Kedor. I am tired of living among people who hate peace. I search for peace, but when I speak of peace, they want war. Psalm chapter 121, heading, A Song for Pilgrims Ascending to Jerusalem. I look up to the mountains. Does my help come from there? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let you stumble. The one who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel never slumbers or sleeps. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord stands beside you as your protective shade. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon at night. The Lord keeps you from all harm and watches over your life. The Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go both now and forever. Psalm 122 Heading, A Song for Pilgrims Ascending to Jerusalem, A Psalm of David I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. And now here we are, standing inside your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a well-built city. Its seamless walls cannot be breached. All the tribes of Israel, the Lord's people, make their pilgrimage here. They come to give thanks to the name of the Lord, as the law requires of Israel. Here stands the thrones where judgment is given, the thrones of the dynasty of David. Pray for peace in Jerusalem. May all who love this city prosper. O Jerusalem, may there be peace within your walls and prosperity in your palaces. For the sake of my family and friends, I will say, may you have peace. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek what is best for you, O Jerusalem. Psalm chapter 123, heading, A Song for Pilgrims Ascending to Jerusalem. I lift my eyes to you, O God, enthroned in heaven. We keep looking to the Lord our God for his mercy, just as servants keep their eyes on their master, as a slave girl watches her mistress for the slightest signal. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy, for we have had our fill of contempt. We have had more than our fill of the scoffing of the proud and the contempt of the arrogant. Psalm chapter 124, heading, A Song for Pilgrims Ascending to Jerusalem, A Psalm of David. What if the Lord had not been on our side? Let all Israel repeat, What if the Lord had not been on our side when people attacked us? They would have swallowed us alive in their burning anger. The waters would have engulfed us. A torrent would have overwhelmed us. Yes, the raging waters of their fury would have overwhelmed our very lives. Praise the Lord who did not let their teeth tear us apart. We escaped like a bird from a hunter's trap. The trap is broken and we are free. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Psalm chapter 125, heading, A Song for Pilgrims Ascending to Jerusalem. Those who trust in the Lord are as secure as Mount Zion. They will not be defeated, but will endure forever. Just as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people both now and forever. The wicked will not rule the land of the godly, for then the godly might be tempted to do wrong. O Lord, do good to those who are good, whose hearts are in tune with you. But banish those who turn to crooked ways, O Lord. Take them away with those who do evil. May Israel have peace. Psalm chapter 126, heading, A Song for Pilgrims Ascending to Jerusalem. When the Lord brought back his exiles to Jerusalem, it was like a dream. We were filled with laughter, and we sang for joy. And the other nations said, What amazing things the Lord has done for them. 
Yes, the Lord has done amazing things for us. What joy! Restore our fortunes, Lord, as streams renew the desert. Those who plant in tears will harvest with shouts of joy. They weep as they go to plant their seed, but they sing as they return with a harvest. Psalm chapter 127 Heading A Song for Pilgrims Ascending to Jerusalem A Psalm of Solomon Unless the Lord builds a house, the work of the builders is wasted. Unless the Lord protects a city, guarding it with centuries will do no good. It is useless for you to work so hard from early morning until late at night, anxiously working for food to eat, for God gives rest to his loved ones. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. Children born to a young man are like arrows in a warrior's hands. How joyful is the man whose quiver is full of them. He will not be put to shame when he confronts his accusers at the city gates. Psalm chapter 128, heading, A Song for Pilgrims Ascending to Jerusalem. How joyful are those who fear the Lord, all who follow his ways. You will enjoy the fruit of your labor. How joyful and prosperous you will be. Your wife will be like a fruitful grapevine flourishing within your home. Your children will be like vigorous young olive trees as they sit around your table. It is the Lord's blessing for those who fear him. May the Lord continually bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper as long as you live. May you live in, to enjoy your grandchildren. May Israel have peace. Psalm 129, heading, A Song for Pilgrims Ascending to Jerusalem. From my earliest youth, my enemies have persecuted me. Let all Israel repeat this. From my earliest youth, my enemies have persecuted me. But they have never defeated me. My back is covered with cuts, as if a farmer had plowed long furrows. But the Lord is good. He has cut me free from the ropes of the ungodly. May all who hate Jerusalem be turned back in shameful defeat. May they be as useless as grass on a rooftop, turning yellow when only half grown, ignored by the harvester, despised by the binder. And may those who pass by refuse to give them this blessing. The Lord bless you. We bless you in the Lord's name. Psalm chapter 130. Heading. A song for pilgrims ascending to Jerusalem. From the depths of despair, O Lord, I call for your help. Hear my cry, O Lord. Pay attention to my prayer. Lord, if you kept a record of our sins, who, O Lord, could ever survive? But you offer forgiveness that we might learn to fear you. I am counting on the Lord. Yes, I am counting on him. I have put my hope in his word. I long for the Lord more than centuries, long for the dawn. Yes, more than centuries, long for the dawn. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is unfailing love. His redemption overflows. He himself will redeem Israel from every kind of sin. Psalm chapter 131, heading, A Song for Pilgrims Ascending to Jerusalem, A Psalm of David. Lord, my heart is not proud. My eyes are not haughty. I don't concern myself with matters too great or too awesome for me to grasp. Instead, I have calmed and quieted myself. Like a weaned child who no longer cries for its mother's milk. Yes, like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord, now and always. Psalm chapter 132. Heading, A Song for Pilgrims Ascending to Jerusalem. Lord, remember David and all that he suffered. He made a solemn promise to the Lord. He vowed to the Mighty One of Israel, I will not go home. I will not let myself rest. I will not let my eyes sleep, nor close my eyelids in slumber, until I find a place to build a house for the Lord, a sanctuary for the Mighty One of Israel. We heard that the ark was in Ephratha. Then we found it in the distant countryside of Jar. Let us go to the sanctuary of the Lord. Let us worship at the footstool of his throne. Arise, O Lord, and enter your resting place, along with the ark, the symbol of your power. 
May your priests be clothed in godliness. May your royal servants sing for joy. For the sake of your servant David, do not reject the king you have anointed. The Lord swore an oath to David with a promise he will never take back. I will place one of your descendants on your throne. If your descendants obey the terms of my covenant and the laws that I teach them, then your royal line will continue forever and ever. For the Lord has chosen Jerusalem. He has desired it for his home. This is my resting place forever, he said. I will live here, for this is the home I desired. I will bless this city and make it prosperous. I will satisfy its poor with food. I will clothe its priests with godliness. Its faithful servants will sing for joy. Here I will increase the power of David. My anointed one will be a light for my people. I will clothe his enemies with shame, but he will be a glorious king. Psalm chapter 133, heading, A Song for Pilgrims Ascending to Jerusalem, A Psalm of David. How wonderful and pleasant it is when brothers live together in harmony. For harmony is as precious as the anointing oil that was poured over Aaron's head that ran down his beard and onto the border of his robe. Harmony is as refreshing as the dew from Mount Hermon that falls on the mountains of Zion. And there the Lord has pronounced his blessing, even life everlasting. Psalm chapter 134, heading, A Song for Pilgrims Ascending to Jerusalem. O praise the Lord, all your servants of the Lord, you who serve at night in the house of the Lord. Lift your hands toward the sanctuary and praise the Lord. May the Lord, who made heaven and earth, bless you from Jerusalem. Proverbs chapter 27. Don't brag about tomorrow, since you don't know what the day will bring. Let someone else praise you, not your own mouth. A stranger, not your own lips. A stone is heavy and sand is weighty, but the resentment caused by a fool is even heavier. Anger is cruel and wrath is like a flood, but jealousy is even more dangerous. An open rebuke is better than hidden love. Wounds from a sincere friend are better than many kisses from an enemy. A person who is full refuses honey, but even bitter food tastes sweet to the hungry. A person who strays from home is like a bird that strays from its nest. The heartfelt counsel of a friend is as sweet as perfume and incense. Never abandon a friend, either yours or your father's. When disaster strikes, you won't have to ask your brother for assistance. It's better to go to a neighbor than to a brother who lives far away. Be wise, my child, and make my heart glad. Then I'll be able to answer my critics. A prudent person foresees danger and takes precautions. The simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. Get security from someone who guarantees a stranger's debt. Get a deposit if he does it for foreigners. A loud and cheerful greeting early in the morning will be taken as a curse. A quarrelsome wife is an, as annoying as constant dripping on a rainy day. Stopping her complaints is like trying to stop the wind or trying to hold something with greased hands. As iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. As workers who tend a fig tree are allowed to eat the fruit, so workers who protect their employer's interests will be rewarded. As a face is reflected in water, so the heart reflects the real person. Just as death and destruction are never satisfied, so human desire is never satisfied. Fire tests the purity of silver and gold, but a person is tested by being praised. You cannot separate fools from their foolishness even though you grind them like grain with mortar and pestle. Know the state of your flocks and put your heart into caring for your herds. For riches don't last forever, and the crown might not be passed to the next generation. After the hay is harvested and the new crop appears and the mountain grasses are gathered in, your sheep will provide wool for clothing, and your goats will provide the price of a field. And you will have enough goat's milk for yourself, your family, and your servant girls. That is the reading through Psalms and Proverbs in 30 days for day 27.